is it. Don't get scared now. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Vlogmas 2021, where we drop one video every day until December 25th. In this video, we're going to talk about three main reasons why you're just not broke, but you may suffer from laziness. Okay, there's a big difference between being broke and being lazy, and we're going to jump into that right now. Now, all right, so the number one thing at the top of my list, why this generation, millennials, even some older folks are just, they seem broke down, they seem uh, just not successful in certain areas of their life. It, it may not be just because of the circumstances that they're surrounded with or the conditions that they grew up in. It may just simply be that they feel entitled. What does entitlement mean? Entitlement means uh, that the world owes you something, right? That you are God's gift to mankind. Now, specifically the millennials of this generation, and I'm a millennial, I'm an older millennial, but the millennials underneath me, there's been this weird thing amongst them where they feel like uh, the world owes them a favor, okay? It maybe comes out in the way that they interact with uh, their, their peers, maybe the way that they interact with their parents or their siblings. But for some reason, it's just this entitlement spirit has come over this generation. And it's pretty wild to watch. And there's three things that contribute to that entitlement. Number one, it's your parents. Maybe throughout the years, your parents have allowed you to get away with certain things, which created this entitlement, this, this need for, Hey, you, you owe me something attitude, right? And it's, it may not even be our parents fault. Cause it may be the way that they were brought up too, right? There's this old saying, you don't know what you don't know. You can't learn what your parents haven't learned. And so it could just be passed from generation to generation, unfortunately. But that's number one at the top of the list. Schooling is another one that contributes to entitlement. In school nowadays, you can get away with anything and the faculty and the schools cannot say anything about it. It's the wildest thing. When I was in school in the 80s and in the 90s, I remember getting paddled with a freaking stick because of disobedience or something happening. Now, I'm not saying that we need to go to that extreme, but that's where, where I came from. But today, if you say no to the teacher and you spit in her face, the teacher can't do anything. She has to take it. And so that, not being able to be stopped in your tracks for something you do wrong, that is creating a super, super hyper entitlement attitude amongst this generation. And number three is society. Frankly, society, our everyday life enables that entitlement. It creates this, this need and this desire for uh, people to give, give, give you something. What can I get out of that relationship? What can I get out instead of the idea of giving back, right? Or giving you, giving your best first. Uh, so that's number one. Entitlement is causing this uh, lazy attitude. Number two is you just simply haven't been taught. Lack of education. And I'm not talking about uh, the education system or school specifically, but I'm just saying in your everyday life, you haven't been taught. And there's a couple things that will either make you or break you in life. Number one, it's the books you read. Now, I don't believe that many people are reading as much as they used to back in the day because of technology and infinite scrolling on all these different apps. You can be on the internet scrolling on your phone for four hours and not even blink or break a sweat and realize what time it is. And you're like, holy crap, I just spent four hours looking at cat videos, right? Or, you know, people doing stupid things on TikTok. So we've traded hard work, grit, and success for mediocrity and comfort. It's insane. And the second thing to this is the People you surround yourself with, the people you surround yourself with are probably the most important part of this puzzle because proximity is going to bring you places that you can never even imagine. When you're in the room with smarter people than yourself, more successful people than yourself, it's going to push you further to be better in your own, in your own life. And so the last part of this puzzle is the events that you attend. Obviously, uh, with the pandemic and a lot of things happening, things have been closed down. There's There's been more virtual uh, events than there has been actually physical events. 
But if you get a chance to go to an event and hear an inspirational, motivational speaker, a business coach, a very successful businessman, those types of events will literally change your life because they change your mind. And when you change your mind, your life is automatically changed as well. And then the third reason, guys, why this generation is super lazy and just not necessarily broke is because they don't have good role models. They don't have people actually teaching them and training them on what to do, on how to serve people, on how to bring value to the marketplace, right? You don't know what you don't know. I said it earlier and I'll say it a million times. You don't know what you don't know because you don't have the right people teaching you. That's why one of the best investments you can do in your own life is investing in a business uh, coach or investing in a mentor. And sometimes when you invest in a business opportunity, mentorship and coaching actually comes along with that. And so if you, if you don't have anybody in your life, you may need to invest a little bit, invest into an opportunity or invest into a coaching program or invest, invest into some type of mentorship program. And before we leave, guys, I want to make sure I share some biblical truth to you as well. I'm going to share a couple important scriptures that I found while doing some research into uh, why people are lazy and not just broke. And the first scripture comes out of Proverbs 12, 24, and it says, diligent hands will rule while laziness ends in forced labor. And you can take a few minutes to pick that apart a little bit. But again, diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in forced labor. And the second scripture I want to look at is Proverbs 10, 4, where it says, lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring forth wealth. Okay, these are found in the book of Proverbs. And then the last one is in 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 10. And this is a good one. And it's the second part of it. And it, it, it says... That if anyone does not want to work, neither should they eat. And that's a pretty powerful one. And some people may not like that. But listen, I didn't write the book, uh, but I lead my life based on these, these biblical principles. And I also teach my family these biblical principles as well. So I hope you enjoyed those. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys got a lot of value. If you have, drop a comment down below. We want to get some dialogue happening. I'd love to hear your feedback, whether you loved it, whether you hated it, doesn't matter. Just let's get the dialogue going. Make sure you subscribe if you found value in this video, because the next time we make a video, you'll get notified and then you can jump on and listen along. And until we meet again, make sure you live well, make sure you laugh a little louder and learn to be a better you. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.